Okay, um, I'm making this video to give a tutorial about something that um, I haven't found any other videos about it on YouTube, and it confused me the first time I tried to do it, so I just wanted to go through and give anybody who was trying to do it a tutorial. Well, it's how to modify your Mass Effect 2 save for the Xbox 360, and you can do that on the PC. Um, and, by the way, if you, uh, I you can use this same program to modify your save on the PC. I mainly use this to avoid the stupid, stupid planet scanning that does nothing but pad out the game because without it, you know, it would be, you know, one of the shorter RPGs ever made. So they added in planet, slow planet scanning that adds about five hours to the gameplay. So, but this enables you to skip that and you can even uh, modify the values like if you're starting Mass Effect 2 and you don't have Mass Effect 1 you can actually go in and modify the values for your character for what it tells it about your character doing in Mass Effect 1 so it's like you've played all the quests and everything all the side quests and everything and passed it on Mass Effect 1 anyway you'll need two programs to do this the one, they're both free, you can find them with a Google search. The one is Modio, which I just clicked on. You'll need that to open up, open up the save file that's on a USB flash drive from your um, Xbox 360. You just save your game onto a flash drive and then plug it into your computer. Now when you first put in the flash drive, it won't show, it'll show it as though your flash drive is empty, but that's just because uh, it's saved in Xbox 360 format and your PC won't see it. So you need Modio to see it. You'll probably want to create a folder like I have here, see, um, to put your Xbox saves in. As you just saw that I emptied because I forgot I had kept some old files in there. And then to modify the file you'll need the gibbed gibbed G-I-B-B gibbed you know, Mass Effect 2 save editor. Editor. You can find both of those with a quick Google search. Oh, and one last thing. Sometimes when you uh, then put the uh, flash drive back on your Xbox 360, your Xbox 360, the game will either glitch it by either not seeing the save, or it will, um, or it will, um, just stop letting you save in the game. But I, but I found that the way to fix this is one, don't move the save off your flash drive and onto the console just keep it on console hard drive or just keep it on your flash drive and to disable auto save which isn't that big a deal because anytime you're not getting attacked by enemies you can save manually in Mass Effect 2 and uh, the levels rarely go beyond 20 minutes in length anyway so it's not that big a deal but anyway here's how you actually modify the save file you go into Modio right just give it a second to boot up. Go down here where it says open a save. Alright, go to USB stick. Alright, select Mass Effect 2. Alright, I'm going to select this one. Alright, I'm going to select my Jack Shepard. Go to Advanced. Go from General to Advanced. Go to Edit Package Content. Alright, I'm going to go to my to this early save file. Alright, now here's my folder that I put my and I move it out of Modio into my folder. You just drag and drop it from your PC. Alright, you just do it there. Alright, now you exit Modio. Alright, now it's in your now it's in your Mass Effect 2 you know, save folder. Alright, now you go into Gibd. Alright, and now you open and as you can see it's on my PC version if you want to modify your PC save you just don't do this whole thing with Mario you just you know get the gib get gibbed and just open up your save file and do everything that I'm about to show you but anyway but I want to show you how to do it on the 360 because that's the thing where I ran in to trouble. So you just go to desktop, you know, see here, open up the file, see here, see and here it has all my stats. Here it has all my stats that I can modify and the uh, 
interesting thing is that after your stats, you also have plot, and you have ME plot table, see, and this is flags, and see, it has all the plot, yeah, it's all the, all the side quests for Mass Effect 1 here, so if you start if you're starting here but you want to see what it's like if Shepard you know saved people or talked to certain people which even going through the uh, comic thing it only gives you you know six you know big plot elements not all the little plot elements you can do that here but anyway we're just in but yeah that's something that you can discover on your own here I'm just gonna show you real quick how you do this here I like played as Paragon most of the time so um I can adjust how many Paragon points I have, and that enables you to, you know, not get locked out of conversations early in the game, and you don't have to wait, you know, for, because certain missions, you can only resolve crew conflicts that come after them, you know, if you have a certain number of Paragon or Renegade points, and if you, and if you do the mission, and if you, so you have to wait until the game is nearly over to earn that number of points, so you have to play the missions in a certain way, even though, you know, you're, for the rest of the game, you're pretty much freeform and picking your order. This enables you to go freeform, just, you know, I just start out with 700 because that is a good baseline that gives you everything you need. And as you can see on the credits, I can just, and just give myself 800,000 credits so I don't have to worry about, I don't have to worry about money. And then, you see, I just, Add on a 7 here, 7, 7 here, 7 here, and that enables me to, uh, and that enables me to, you know, to, you know, not have to wor worry about wasting time on that stupid slow planet scanning, which I guess is okay the first time you play it, but if you're replaying it to see what it's like with a different love interest, or if you make different choices, it feels like a real drag, and then all you have to do is scan the planets for side quests, and if, you know, ED doesn't say, you know, anomaly detected, you don't have to do any more scanning. So, go to save as, and I want to, uh, and I always keep this separate, because I want to keep the main file, I want to keep the baseline file clean, that way, if I mess up something here, I can just go back to the baseline file, alright, 004, I'm just going to go to 004, save as, alright, now, exit this, go back into Mario, open a save, do the same steps, where we go to this, this, alright, now go to advanced, edit package content, and add file, okay, add file, take your modified file here, which I just realized I named wrong, so I'm going to rename it, Take your modified file here, alright, alright, put it on there, and now, this is important, go to done, go to general, and then make sure you don't just do that, make sure you click save to your profile, make sure it's saved to your profile so that your Xbox will read it, save the doc, see, and uh, you should get this message, you know, s successfully saved to, you know, blah blah blah, and that's it, that's how you do it, and if you do that, and as I said, the only glitch I ran into, I was able to solve by just, you know, keeping the save file on my USB stick and disabling autosave. If you do that, you shouldn't have to planet scan anymore, and that can shave hours off your time and just allow you to enjoy the game and the conversations rather than, you know, just sit there staring at your TV screen while you look for that mineral so your whole crew doesn't die. All right. I hope this was helpful for someone, if it was. Um, yeah, just, I'm always looking for ways to improve these videos, you know, I'm just using, you know, stuff that I have, you know, that's basically free, or, or cheap, or came with drives and stuff, so, but, you know, let me know what you think, I'm always looking for ways to improve my videos, alright? Goodbye.